Hello everyone. Before beginning today's lesson, I have a question for you all. Why is introducing ourselves well important? A very common English phrase is first impression is the last impression. So what is considered a good introduction and why is it important? Let me answer the question. A well-crafted introduction forms the basis of the first impression others have of you. It sets the tone for future interactions and can influence how people perceive you. Whether in job interviews or in business meetings, a strong introduction can open doors to professional opportunities. Now, navigating the world of etiquette is difficult enough in our own native language, but today I'm here to help you make the perfect first impression when communicating with someone in German. So, let's dive right into it. The topic for today's the introduction, which is the Vorstellung. The Vorstellung. The Vorstellung. Please don't pronounce this word which looks like the English word die as die. This is the German word die and this is Vorstellung, which means the introduction. Now, there are three ways to introduce yourself in German. First, ich heiße and your name. I will first write all the ways and then I will explain them. Ich bin and your name. And last, mein Name ist and your name. Okay, so all of these sentences mean the same thing. It means my name is, but if you wish to literally translate them, then ish heise is called or is translated at as basically I am called and the name. Ish bin and the name here means I am and your name. And the last, mein Name. Is is my name is so ish for example your name is Anna so these sentences will be read as ish heise Anna ish bin Anna my name is Anna all of these sentences mean basically that my name is Anna or um, but if you literally translate them it is called I am called Anna. I am Anna. My name is Anna. Once again, Ish heise Anna. Ish bin Anna. My name is Anna. Okay, now we have just learned three ways to introduce ourselves in German, but how do we ask someone else to introduce themselves? The German language has a formal and an informal way of addressing people. When you meet someone for the very first time, you should use the more formal form to ask their name. In German, the word Z serves this purpose. On the other hand, if you're talking to a friend or an acquaintance, you can use the informal form, which is highlighted by the word Du. Let me write this so that it becomes more clear. First of all, formal, informal. In German, the word Z and in Informal, the word do. This means the formal. Both of them basically mean you in English. But in the formal form, we use the word Z. And in the informal form, we use the word do. So, to ask someone's name in a formal setting, we ask the question, V heißen Z. V heißen Z. Another way to ask someone's name is, Where sind sie? And last, wie ist ihr Name? So all of these questions basically here mean, what is your name? But if you wish to again literally translate them, this means, what are you called? Let me write this. This means, what are you called? This means, who are you? And last, what is your name? You can use either of these questions to ask someone name, someone's name. But please note that since we are using the word Z here, all of these questions, and in this particular question, the word ear has come. We will, run, we will learn soon why Z is used and why ear is used and what is the purpose of these uh, in the upcoming videos. But for now, just take a note of these questions, please. So, when we are using these three words, 
This paints the formal question. This is this these questions can be asked to an older person or a person you're meeting for the very first time to uh, get to know them to ask them basically what is your name. In the informal form, it is very easy actually. There is just a little tweaking that we do. Let me write this here itself in the informal form. Actually, let me take a new page. In the informal form, the question becomes instead of V heisen Z, it becomes V heist do where bis do and V is dein Name. Let me also write the alternative so that it becomes more easy to understand. V heißen Sie? Wer sind Sie? And lastly, V is ihr Name. This is the formal form. This is the informal form. Wie heißt du? Wer bist du? Wie ist dein Name? And all of these questions mean, what is your name? If you wish to again literally translate, as I mentioned before, this is what are you called? Who are you? And what is your name? Sometimes, if you don't wish to share your name with someone, you can use this statement as a reply. See Kyonan or Du kannst mich dash nennen. Sie können or du kannst mich dash nennen, which means basically you can call me because nennen here means to call. So, once again, quickly let's recap what we've just learned. The informal form, the three ways to ask someone their name in the informal form is we heist du. Where bist du? Wie ist dein Name? And in the formal form, we say, Wie heißen sie? Wer sind sie? Wie ist ihr Name? And sometimes, if you don't wish to tell someone your name, you can basically say, Sie können or Du kannst mich dash nennen. So here you can add whatever you wish to tell someone. Like, if your name is Anna, but you don't wish to share that your name is Anna, you can say, my name is John, or whatever you wish to say. So, Sie können or Du kannst mich dash nennen, which means you can call me dash. Oh, I did not finish it here. Nennen means to call. Now that we have looked at three ways to introduce ourselves and the ways to ask somebody their name, the next question we commonly ask someone is, how are you doing? Which in German is translated as, we Geht es Ihnen? Or you can also use dir here. Wie geht es Ihnen? The question wie geht es Ihnen is used in the formal form. Whereas if you use the word dir here in this question, it would be the informal form. So the question wie geht es Ihnen or dir means how are you doing? Now, being able to put your emotions into words is very important. Sometimes you're doing great, other times you might be having a bad day. So, let's look at some expressions and phrases to express our feelings correctly. There are several ways to answer this question. Let me first write the meaning of the statement. This is, how are you doing? Once again, we get as Enen. 
and the ways to answer this question are as follows. Goot, Danke, which means good, thank you. Or you can maybe say, sehr gut. Which means, very good. Next, you can also say, es geht mir gut. Or, schlecht. Or wunderbar. Now, this particular statement is a direct reply to this particular question, as in, Wie geht es Ihnen? Es geht mir gut. Gut here means again, as used here, it means good. Schlecht, the word schlecht here, es geht mir schlecht, means bad. That means you're not really having a good day. And wunderbar here, as you might have guessed it, means wonderful. Let me also share some more ways to answer this question. You can also maybe use as gate so la la or you can just say as gate as well. This basically means it's going okay, not too good, not too bad. Next, you can also say nicht schlecht. Which means not bad. You can also say keine Beschwerden. Which means no complaints. Next, we also have feel besser. Which means much better. Maybe you're not doing well since the past few days. So you can use this phrase basically to express that you're doing much better these days. So, we get a scene and yeah, feel better. Something like that. You can also say, knock am Leben. Knock am Leben. Or, knock Lebendisch. Which means still alive. And lastly, to thank someone for asking you, you can say Danke der Nachfrage. Which means thank you for asking. So these are several ways to answer the question, how are you doing? Once again, we get as Ihnen or we get as dear, which means how are you doing? And some of the answers that we've just learned today are Gut danke. Sehr gut. Es geht mir gut. Es geht mir schlecht. Es geht mir wunderbar. Es geht so lala which means it's going okay, nicht schlecht, which means not bad, keine Beschwerden, no complaints, feel besser, much better, noch am Leben or noch lebendisch, still alive, and lastly, danke der Nachfrage, thank you for asking. So, let's look quickly at a conversation between two people which concerns all the topics that we've learned today. So, Hallo, wie heißen Sie? Hallo, ich heiße Anna. Und Sie? Ich heiße Max. Wie geht es Ihnen? Es geht mir wunderbar. Und Ihnen? Mir geht es gut. Danke der Nachfrage. So, this is a simple conversation between two people meeting for the very first time. I have used the word Sie here because this is a formal form. As I just mentioned, this is a conversation between two people meeting for the very first time. So, it would be impolite to use the informal form, which is why I have used the word Z here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. 
As I always say, learning a language is a continuous process. So keep practicing, keep growing. Dankeschön. Bis zum nächsten Mal.